Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hello and welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we'll be looking at another deck for the standard format, and this time we have Darkrai, Giratina, and Garbador. So, if you're not familiar with uh, Darkrai, it's a new Darkrai EX from the Breakpoint with the Dark Pools, which says um, for two colorless energies you can hit for 20 plus 20 more for each darkness energy attached to all of your Pokemons in play. So, basically, with the max elixirs, you can uh, pretty easily accelerate your um, dark rays on the bench, and which is actually even better. With the double dragon energy attached on your Giratina EX, you can actually have two uh, darkness energies provided, so that means to, that you can increase the damage for 40, and that's very definitely um, good. Also, you can uh, attack with your Giratina Chaos Wheel, um, either way with the two times attaching uh, double dragon energies or just the double dragon energy and maybe a double max elixir which actually can uh, lock your opponent from playing uh, any kind of special energy and stadium cards and also tools from his or her hand during the next turn. Also Giratina can help you against uh, Mega Evolved Pokemons because it also have that Engaged on um, pulse ability, which prevents your opponent's mega evolution uh, Pokemon from attacking you. So, definitely a um, very good combination. But that's probably not going to happen if you're planning to run Garbodor. But of course, you can just uh, not decide to play Garbodor in that situation because Garbodor with the Garbotoxin actually will shut down any ability from all Pokemon in play. Yes, so you need also to keep that in mind. So I'm running 13 Pokemons, 35 trainer cards and 12 energies, which is actually 60 cards in total. Um, for also support for the setup, I decide to attack one Hoopa, because that Condor Ring can actually help me to play Ultra Ball for Hoopa, and uh, actually with the Hoopa I can grab up to 3 more EXs, so basically I can grab Giratina, Dark Ray, and Shaman for the setup. So I'm also running double Shaman. For the um, support attacker and for energy acceleration, I also have one non EX attacker, uh, which is actually Eviltal with Oblivion Wing. And pretty much I'm running three Dark Rays as the main attacker and two Giratina for the same side attack. Um, yeah, and pretty much uh, two Trabish and two Garbodors. From some item cards, I'm running single escape rope because it's always good to have escape rope, especially against Jolteon EX because. Uh, if you play against Jolteon, you can find yourself in a trouble because if it hits you with that um, attack for 70 and uh, prevent you from attacking him because you only have basic Pokemon attackers, you can find yourself in a trouble. So that's the reason why I'm running a single escape rope. Three max elixir here um, instead of the four because I'm only running eight um, darkness energies in total. Max elixir can help me to find basic energy in top six cards and attach to one of my benched Pokemons. Single Super Road, definitely good thing to have in this deck, especially because you're running just 8 basic energy cards and maybe it happens that you need to have them back into your deck, but also just in case you um, need to discard your Garbodor in the early game so you can actually put it back. Uh, 4 copies of Trainer's Mail, 4 Ultra Balls and 4 VA Seekers, pretty much staple. From supporter cards, as usual, 1 copy of AZ. Uh, one copy of Lysander, uh, two Ants and four Professor Sycamore, which is actually six uh, supporters in total for draw. Also have that one Wally, just for the turn one, maybe Garbodor, if I can actually set up pretty well. Uh, maybe I can just play turn one Garbodor and actually totally lock up my opponent from playing any kind of Shaman, maybe even Trevenant with item lock. But yeah, pretty much against any other um, Pokemon. Wally is definitely uh, good to have in this deck. Uh, for that turn one Garbodor setup. Single Xerosic, also a good thing because I'm not running um, Star of the Megaphone. Xerosic can help me to remove tool or special energy from any Pokemon in play. Two copies of Reverse Wally, which can actually help me to increase the damage for um, 10 more on my Darkest Pokemons in play, so I definitely like that. Um, three copies of a Fighting Fury, uh, three cop uh, two copies of Fighting Fury Belt. Sorry for that. So I can have uh, 40 more HP on my Dark Ray or even Giratina and 10 more attack increasement. Uh, three copies of Floatstone. Uh, why three copies of Floatstone? Well, you never know. Uh, you need to have at least um, double tool for your Garbodor, but you also want to have a Floatstone for your Hoopa, just if you're stuck in the front with it. 
uh, even for the shaming. So it's always good to have um, floatstones. Mm, I decide to go three instead of two, uh, but you can definitely replace um, either way uh, two floatstones, three uh, fighting fury belts, or you can even go two fighting fury belts, two floatstones, and two weakness policies. Why weakness policy? Well, just because if you play against fighting deck, which is actually popular these days, Dark Ray has a weakness in it, so you can actually just uh, remove that weakness from uh, Dark Ray. But also, Giratina is weak on the Fairy, and Fairy is also getting very popular with that um, Mega Guard War, so yeah, definitely a good to have one as a tech. 12 energies, which uh, 4 of them are Double Dragon and 8 Darkness energies, so that's 12 energies in total, which is actually uh, the final cards on my deck list. So, if you're looking for any of these cards, as usual, you can find them on ccgcastle.com and with TCG Center 5 code, you can get 5% discount on purchase. So, keep that in mind and definitely check um, the link in my video description. So, after this uh, little deck review and deck show off, um, let's try to do some gameplay so you can actually see this deck in the action. Alright guys, so welcome to the game test. I just lost the coin flip and it uh, looks like I'm going to start second. So yes, that's the case. Alright, so let's try to set up as fast as I can and uh, basically hit for the one hit knockout uh, with the Dark Ray, Dark Blue. So um, opening hand, no basic Pokemon. Uh, second drawing, another no basic. Let's see what I can get right here. Um, Shaman X, I guess the worst possible start that I can get. At least I have a float stone, so I can free retreat with my Shaman from the active spot. Then again, I have a reverse volley and uh, my Sycamore. Oh, on the other side, it's a uh, Zorok, so I need to be very cautious about expanding my bench. And there's a float stone and darkness energy. Oh my goodness, he just passes his turn. Oh. Couldn't get better um, than Ultra Ball. I will discard Super Road and uh, Reverse Volley for probably Hoopa. Or maybe I can even go without Hoopa. Ah, never mind. Let's grab Hoopa for that Skunder Ring um, for one Giratina and one Dark Ray. And I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. I can play my um, Giratina, I can play my Dark Ray, and I can even go with my Escape Rope down to my um, Dark Ray. I can attach my Fighting Fury Belt. And then I can go with my Professor Sycamore. So there's a Double Dragon Energy onto my um, Giratina, and I can play my Trainer's Mail. Maybe I can hit um, Zero Seek and maybe a Seeker. I guess I will grab that via Seeker for now, and it looks like I'm going to probably pass my turn for now. I want to attack, I want to start to attack with, uh, oh, actually I don't want to start to attack with Majoratina, because if I attack with Majoratina, I didn't see a double dragon energy on my opponent, oh, right now I see double dragon energy on my opponent, Zorg, so, yep, he decided to attach double Colorus instead of just a regular darkness energy. I would definitely prefer a regular darkness energy attachment. Um, he can hit for 100 right now, 100 damage on the dark ray. So it looks like he's going to need one more turn to do again 100 in the mind check and then again 100 in the mind check because I have 220 with that fighting fear belt. And there's a catch, and that catch is called um, Trabish. But do I want to attach my Trabish on the bench? Looks like I don't need my Trabish right here. Um, I will just try to go with my Professor Sycamore, actually. I already played my Escape Rope, so there's no chance that I can hit any other card. But I might be able to find AZ, so I can actually remove uh, my Dark Ray from the active spot. There's a Trainer's Mail for Ultra Ball and another V Seeker, so I guess I will go with my V Seeker. Um, Okay, reverse volley. I will give him reverse volley, why not? But I will just pass for now. If I have another Dark Ray on my bench, my opponent will be able to knock me out. Um, there's a Zora break, so he can actually try to use Dark Head, but he can actually hit just for 80 in that situation. And another V Seeker for him for Professor Sycamore. And that Professor Sycamore can give him. See, 
Will he be able to find few more Zoruas for the Zorok? Or he will just stand with the single Zorok in play? We shall see that. And finally, there's a Ultra Ball. Thank goodness. Okay. I didn't want to place down that Trabish just because I want to be able to um, survive one more turn with my Dark Ray and actually be able to um, expand my bench with uh, another Dark Ray uh, ready to attack. So there's Target Whistle. Oh, yes, there's a Shame in the X. So it's going to be a knockout. Either way, that target whistle was huge play. And with the Lysander, he can just snipe those my shamans on the bench. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. The game plan is to go with the end or maybe Ultra Ball for another Dark Ray if I can hit it. Definitely, that would be uh, so broken. He can hit right here for 150, I guess. Oh, 130. Even without uh, reverse falling, that would be a knockout. So there's a Hoopa. Oh my goodness, what a top deck. Come on, give me some energy cards. There is one energy. There is two energy, three, four, five, six energy cards. Well, that's even more than enough for the knockout. Um, do I want to end my opponent? No, without thinking, let's just go with the end because he had too many cards in his hand. There's a Garbodor. Um, hmm. Yeah, Ultra Ball for Giratina and uh, Trainer's Mail for that Trubbish. But I don't know if I want to play that Trubbish down to the bench because... Mind check is probably going to knock me out. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 160, 170. Yeah, definitely it's going to be a enough for the knockout. No, I don't want to take risk right now. Let's just go with the Dark Pulse for the knockout. Next turn I can actually play my Trubbish and... Uh, maybe not, we shall see. There is a double dragon energy again. So, uh, probably I will just try to. Oh, he decided to go with Evil Tall in the active spot. I mean, yeah, definitely a um, normal choice because he can just use that stand in. The question is how many target whistle he played. Oh, very nice. There's Evil Tall and the Secret Ash. Um, but I don't have Lysander. Where's my Lysander? I really need my Lysander so I can knock out his Zorak on the bench. Because that Zork is just, at this moment, the only attacker that he have. Oh, there's a Lysander. This is going to be a huge knockout. Definitely a huge knockout. If he is not able to uh, one-hit me knockout right there, I can even respond with my... Um, probably he's going to use that Mind Jack. I don't see reason why he wouldn't go with, uh, he wouldn't go with the Mind Jack. Only if he wants to go with the Oblivion Wing. But in that case, I have Lysander ready, so I can just knock out that Zork and pretty much almost end this game. Yeah, I mean, two double color synergies already... Oh, yes, 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 yes. He goes with the Oblivion Wing. I guess it's not it's not a misplay. You can't know what your opponent have in hand, but you can actually try to predict the possibility of income if your opponent runs something like uh, Lysander. So... This is definitely going to be a huge knockout right here, and uh, 170. Don't even ask me what I do. I mis mis uh, misclicked that Fighting Fury Belt down to my Giratina, and right now that Evil Ball can actually uh, one-hit knock out my Dark Ray. There's Professor Sycamore. Can he find a double chorus energy for the knockout? Probably. I hope he won't be able to find it. I hope he will not be able to find double chorus energy for the knockout. If he's able to find it, I'm in a trouble. There's a muscle band and uh, Ultra Ball for probably another Shame in the X. Yep, another Shame in the X. Please don't find double chorus energy. 
Oh my goodness, and that Fighting Fury Belt attachment. Some, um, some time back ago, uh, you were actually able to, when you uh, play a card from your hand on TCG Online, uh, you was able to back it up back into your hand, so... Yeah, my opponent was not able to one-hit me knockout right here, and actually on my next turn I would be able to play my Garbodor. So I'd be able to um, ability lock him, and also I'd be able to one-hit knock out his evil tally X, and probably that would be pretty much GG for him. So let's move to game number two. Alright, so let's try to get heads and start first. Very nice. So I just wanted coin flip, and I'm going to uh, start first. So Opening hand, Dark Ray, and uh, there's some max Alex here, so I hope I can hit something like a Trainer's Mail for Ultra Ball, so I can try to set up. I also have that uh, Reverse Wally. Mm, there's a Wally. Alright, so let's see. Trainer's Mail, could it be Ultra Ball? No, it can't be Ultra Ball. At least it's a Float Stone, but I don't know if I even want to take that Float Stone. I will just hit Energy Attachment. And that reverse Wally, and I will go with my Professor Sycamore. It's always bad to discard Max Elixir without playing it. So there's a Trabish, and finally I was able to find uh, Ultra Ball. So what I'm going to do right here is definitely I'm going to pick my Hoopa. Um, Hoopa for three more. EXs. I'm going to grab one more Dark Ray and one Giratina and one Shaman. After that, I'm going to play Max Elixir. So I might be able to hit another Darkness Energy right here. Unfortunately for me, there is no Darkness Energy. But there is Shaman EX versus four more cards. I should actually first play Shaman, then go with my. Max Elixir, but it is how it is. So yeah, I'm going to pass my turn right here. Um, looks like I I will miss probably um, attack on my next turn, or maybe not. I mean, I will probably just attach my Darkness Energy onto my Dark Ray, and I will try to hit um, for 60. That's Norlux. I can even go with the uh, V Seeker for Wally. Um, Snorlax can actually attack even if it's asleep. And there is a All Night Party and a Max Elixir, so he's going to attach another Darkness Energy onto that Dark Rainer's Muscle Band onto the Snorlax. Alright, so very interesting. Trainer's Mail. This is a Darkness Dangerous Energy card which says um, if this Pokemon is attacked with uh, a, a damage from the EX, you can put two damage counter on attacking the EX. Um, very nice card. The reason I'm not playing it in this deck, it's just don't make any sense because I'm running Max Elixir for Energy Acceleration and uh, oh, there's also Drowsy. And if you want to have something like this in your deck, well, you, in that case, you can't play Max Elixirs or Double Dragon Energy card. So there's V Seeker for a Judge. He can't play any kind of supporter uh, more this turn, and I will just play my. I guess Darkness Energy on my Dark Ray, or I should just try to set up my Giratina. Well, I will try to um, do some pressure right there, or I can even maybe go with my Escape Rope. Um, hmm. What can I do right here is I can go uh, with my Wally for my Garbador, at least. And next turn I can attach one of my Double Dragon Energies and maybe um, go for um, Professor Sycamore, so I can actually uh, lock my opponent from playing ability car uh, abilities, so he's not going to be able to hit with that dark hat for a 160, maybe even 180 for the knockout. And there's one Darkness Energy and a Judge, so definitely I'm going to take uh, four new cards, any kind of, oh, just a Flow Stone, I guess it's not bad even Flow Stone, it will help on some point. So that's shaming for four extra cards. Yeah, I definitely need to lock down that Hypno because that uh, Goodnight Babies will not work. And yeah, he can just easily right now just sleep his Norlux, scrap 30 damage. 
and pass his turn. I mean, he can't attack for now, but he can heal the damage off. I have at least my Zero Seek in hand, so with the Zero Seek I can at least remove that one energy, double um, dark, uh, dangerous energy attached on my opponent, a Dark Ray in play, so I didn't get heads of that coin flip, but I can actually just wake up. So this is going to be a float stone and a N for six new cards, and uh, let's see what I can get. Oh, very nice, there's Fighting Fury Belt, and uh, double Dragon Energy, so I can use both of these cards. And I can hit with the Dark Pulse right now for 110, which is actually enough for the knockout, because that Snorlax already had 30 damage from uh, attack before, and there is another um, Darkness Energy. So at least a Dark Ray can hit me maximum right there for um, right now 80 with one more Darkness Energy 100. But as long as I have my Carbodor with uh, Floatstone attached in play, that Hypno Goodnight Baby's ability will not work. So there's no chance that he can actually uh, one hit me knockout with that Dark Pulse. Uh, dark Head actually. Oh, there's a Lysander. So he is going down for that Carbodor. And it's going to be an easy knockout. At least I have my Ultra Ball in my hand, so I can try to search my deck for another Trubbish. Maybe if I can top deck Wally, I can just I can just easily place another Garbador with my Flowstone into play. So we shall see if that is going to happen. Um, there's a good chance to, for that. So there's a Trainer's Mail, and actually huh, no sign of the. Carbador, but at least I can go with my um, Ultra Ball right here for Trubbish. I hope I have Trubbish. Yes, I do have Trubbish. So this is going to be a Trubbish and Floatstone attachment. I need to do right here Matt. So um, let me see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can hit for 40, 60, 80, 100. Well, I will just attach one of my energies onto my another Dark Ray. And let's just go with Professor Sycamore. I'm looking for that Super Road. No sign of the Super Road. Um, at least I can force my opponent with Escape Probe. So I might be able to draw one extra prize over that Evil Tall instead of the knocking out the Dark Ray. So I can set up one hit knockout on my next turn. So I can further treat with my Trubbish right there, which I will actually undo. And Dark Pulse for 130 damage. So right now you see the importance of the Escape Rope card. It's definitely good to have something like Escape Rope in your deck because it can definitely help you a lot. And there's a switch. It's not, it's not a big deal. I mean, uh, that Dark Head is going to hit me for uh, 180 it's not going to be enough for the knockout since I have that Fighting Fury Belt attached and uh, definitely a very good play because I also hit that Dark Ray on the bench for 130 um, but then again there's a Stadium card in play so I can scrap the damage off uh, from my Dark Ray, I can knock out my opponent Dark Ray probably on my next turn and I can just play Zerosic to get that double course energy from his bench Dark Ray so let me just do the math uh, 1, 2, 20, um, that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, well, no, I'll be, I'd be actually short for 10 damage counters, so knockout on his active garb, uh, dark ray is not going to happen, but at least I can do my V Seeker for Lysander, um, if I have Lysander actually in my disc pile, but I didn't see it uh, for his Hypno on the bench. So he was able to find that Max Elixir for the energy on the Dark Ray on the bench. And there's another Max Elixir for nothing. Good night, babies. 480. Okay, I can definitely heal some damage off. I can wake up. I can even play my AZ right here. I don't know how smart option is that. Um, I will definitely remove um, Zero Seek and Professor Sycamore in this case for my Garbador. Um, oh, I totally forget that I don't have Garbador in my deck because I didn't play Super Road 
from my Carpador um, tiny misplay um, energy attachment um, V Seeker for what? Let me see. V Seeker maybe for uh, probably Zero Seek. Not probably, then definitely um, Zero Seek for that double chorus energy. And yeah, I mean, I can hit for a lot of damage right here with the Dark Pools. Uh, not enough for the knockout. I'm short for 10. I'm short for that Stadium card, which is actually in my discard pile, so I was not even able to get it because I already discarded both of them. But at least next turn I can knock out the Dark Ray. He's going to grab three pri two prizes, um, but uh, I will try to uh, somehow find my uh, Garbador and uh, lock my opponent from playing ability cards. How many license uh, V-Seekers? I played three of them, so I have one more left. So there's again, good night babies. He healed 30 damage. I will actually attack on my next turn, probably with my Dark Ray. So I lost two of my energy cards right here. And I'm not even sure which Pokemon should I promote in the active. Definitely Trubbish for now. Um, there's another Dark Ray, but I actually don't need another Dark Ray. So, I mean, I can bench it down definitely. But I don't know if I want to do that. So there's AZ for the Shaman. Let's play Shaman for five more cards. I'm looking for any kind of acceleration. Um, there's a Baby Evil Tall. Maybe I can even get knockout here with my Baby Evil Tall. Um, there's Weakness Policy and Max Elixir, so I will definitely um, grab my Max Elixir. For one more energy if it's happened. So there is one more energy card for that baby evil tall. Um, hmm. I can play my V Seeker definitely for that double chorus energy scrap. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Why I can't? Because I played AZ. For that shaming, and I totally forget about that. I can't even knock him out because I don't have tool attached. But then again, he either way don't have tool attached. So only chance to um, survive somehow right here is to knock out my opponent with Giratina because in the worst possible scenario he can one he can hit me for hundred. No, he can knock me out. I totally forget about that dangerous energy, Dane. I totally forget about dangerous energy, but it, either way, another big deal because he's going to lose that Dark Ray, and uh, I have another um, Dark Ray ready to attack his Dark Ray. And there's an Evil Tall. Oh my god. And there's a Lysander, so he's going for a Shamey knockout. Very interesting. But he was sexually able to knock off my Giratina, and I don't know why he didn't do that. Why he didn't do that? Probably he's looking forward to knock out my Trubbish somehow, somehow. But that's probably not going to happen. And finally, I hit the Trainer's Mail for that Super Road, which I can actually play um, to put back some Darkness Energies on my Garbador. And uh, I will actually play some Darkness Energies in Garbador. I will play my Ultra Ball for one of my energy and a Dark Ray um, for that very viable Carpador in this situation. So, no more Good Night Babies for my opponent. This is also going to be a Fighting Fury Belt for that Giratina. I can also attach one more energy card. Um, let's go with Hoopa. And Dark Pools for a lot of damage, for 180, which is actually enough to one-hit knockout any of my opponent's Pokémon on my next turn. And I actually somehow managed to, I wouldn't say yet, win this, but there's a big chance that I actually win this game. So one prize left for both players.
I can one hit knock on my opponent, any Pokemon in play. He can try to uh, buy some time by Lysandering my um, Hooper because I need one energy for the retreat. And he decided to go with that Garbodor, uh, but there is no chance that he can knock out my Garbodor. Then again, I have that Floatstone attached to it, and I can just retreat for free. And I even have one more Floatstone left in my deck, so. Yeah, it's pretty much GG. So. He was looking forward to um, charge that Evil Tall on the bench, but it's not going to happen. I even have my 0 6, so I can even respond with it uh, by discarding his um, double uh, colorless energy from that Evil Tall, but uh, my Dark Pulse is actually enough for the knockout, so um, it's a game. So that Garbodor helps a lot because I was able to shut down that um, ability from Hypno and uh, actually managed to win this. So definitely very um, good deck. So once again there is a full deck list of it. If you're looking to build something like that you can definitely use this deck list as a guide. Um, so you can definitely try to test it out. Um, you can share it. You can do whatever you want. Just uh, create me for the deck list and uh, I will not be mad at you if you um, use it on your um, YouTube channel for example or if you play with it on your tournament and something like that. So definitely um, Carpador was definitely good card against that um, Good Night Babies uh, Hypno ability because one turn that uh, my opponent Dark Ray was not able to uh, one hit me knockout was actually huge because I was able to um, actually take advantage by not losing those two prizes and uh, at the end that uh, Garbotoxin ability um, bring me to victory. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already didn't for more future videos. And yeah, till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.